Hello and welcome. I am Raghav from Automation Step by Step and today we are going to learn the rest of the variables or the types of variables in TypeScript. In the earlier session, we have already seen number, string, boolean, null and undefined. Today I am going to go very basic step by step and we are going to learn arrays, tuple, enum, unknown, any and void type of variables. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. So let's get started and let us start with arrays. Now arrays in TypeScript as in JavaScript is a type that can hold array of values. And if you have to create an array, I will go to my Visual Studio code and I will go to my basics.ts script that we have created earlier. And here I will say arrays and I can say here let and give any name of a variable let us say list one and a colon and here I can give any data type and when I add the square brackets it becomes a array of numbers and I can also make it equal to the value so here again in square brackets I can give a array of numbers like this another way of creating or declaring array is I will again say let and give some variable name let us say list2 and this time I will say array and then in conical brackets I will give the type of this array so I can again say number here and then again I can add the array of numbers like this. So this is how we declare and initialize array and this is what I have also added in the notes all these notes will be available in the notes or the description section of this video. So these are the two ways we can create arrays. And before I go to tuple, let me also show you if you have to access the array, I can say here console.log and then the name of the variable that is list1 and here I can give the index position. So the index position starts from 0. So here this is if I talk about list 1, here this is at index position 0, 2 is at index position 1 and 3 is at index position 2. So this should print 2 in our case. So let me try, I will save, I am pressing Ctrl S on my keyboard and I will go to my terminal and here I will say node and I will give the name of my JavaScript file. It is already compiled as we have seen in the earlier session, we have added the hyphen hyphen watch flag for auto compilation whenever I make any changes. Uh, now also uh, I can increase this font size. I believe it will be too small for you to see. So I will go to settings and here I will search for terminal.integrated.font size. Yes, so font size is here. So it is 14. Let me say 20 should be fine. Yeah, now this is fine. I will say node and the JavaScript file name that is compiled from TypeScript and I hit enter and you can see it has printed to here that is coming from here. So this was about arrays. Now let us go to tuple. Now tuple is used for fixed values but different types. For example, I can declare a variable with two types that is string and number or any other type let me show you here I will say here tuple and here I will say let tuple1 you can use any name here and then colon and in brackets I am saying number and string and then that's it I can initialize the values or I can just leave it like this so this is how we can create or declare a tuple and then to add the values I can add the values as per the types we have declared so I will say tuple 1 equals and again in square brackets I will say 10 comma and I will give a string value as well here let us say hello and this should be working fine now if I say if I say tuple 1 equals I give a string value first I will say hello and then I will give a numerical value and you can see this is creating a error because here I cannot change the sequence here it says 
type string is not assignable to type number and here it says type number is not assignable to type string so this is not allowed and I have added this in my notes as well so this will throw an error and then if you have to access the tuple you can go with the index position so here I can say console.log and I will say tuple1 and let us say I want the index position of 1 which will refer to this hello because this starts from index position 0 and now because this is a string I can also add some string operations like substring so I will say substring and let us say I want to start from index position 1 so I, if I run this save compile and run you can see it is printing ELLO so it is starting from index position 1 of this particular string so this was about tuple now let us go to enum so enum is used to giving some more friendly names to the set of values for example we can create a enum for colors let me show you here I will say this is enum and here I can say I will just say enum and give some name color and then in curly brackets I can give the values I'll say blue green red etc so this is how we can declare a enum now I can then declare variables and can assign values for example I can say here let c and this is of type enum and I will make it equal to color dot uh, green now if you see here it will actually store the index position of this particular value for example if I try to print it I will say console.log and I say C here and I save and run you can see it is printing 1 here because it starts from index position 0 however I can also manually change this index position I want to start with 4 so now blue will start with 4 or blue will have index position 4 and then sequentially green will have 5 and red will have 6 now if I run this let us see what happens I will run this again and now you can see it is printing 5 for green but if I want I can also give different values I want to say green should be at position 7 and red is at 10 even this will work fine if I save compile and run now you can see it is printing 7 for green so all this is allowed in enum we have already seen this how you print the values and by default the numbering starts with 0 but you can change it like this as we have already seen and we can also manually set the values or the number index position like this now we can also go from the numeric value to the name of that particular value in the enum and for that I can say for example I will say here let me just comment this out now I'm not deleting any of the code because at the end of this course I will put everything on a github repository so you can always refer it from there so I'll just comment this portion these two lines I will select and press ctrl forward slash on my keyboard to comment and then I will say let color name which should be of type string should be coming from color and I want to store index 7 color or position 7 color here so you can see this is how I can do it and then I will just have to say console dot log and I will print the color name here and if I run this you can see it is printing green here so this also can be done in an enum let us now go to unknown type now unknown can be used when you are describing a variable in your code but you are not sure of from where the value will come from and what will be its type it can come from an uh, third party or maybe from a user input or some database in that case we can use unknown and here I can say so this is unknown and I can say let I can use any variable name let us say not sure and this I will say is of type unknown and let me give some value here now don't get confused that 
I am already giving a numerical value or a number so it should be of type number. This can come from anywhere during runtime. It can come from a database, it can be a string value, it can be a numerical value but just for this example I have added this value here. So now I can say, uh, let me say, let me first just say console.log and if I try to print not sure what happens, I will save and compile and run. So you can see it is printing 4 as of now because it has a value. What if I do not have any value here? I will save this and run this again. And now you can see it is saying undefined. So until you assign a value it will be undefined. And now if I want to use this as a function, let us say not show and I am adding it as a function or if I want to do any operation, uh, let us say I want to do a string operation I will say to uppercase which is a string operation you can see it is giving me an error so here it says this expression is not callable and here it says that the property to uppercase does not exist on type unknown so if your type is unknown you cannot do any kind of operations like this and of course it will also not do the intelligence or code completion for you so this is not allowed for unknown. Now there is a type any where you can do this. I will show you this in a moment. But this is all about unknown. Let us go to the next type that is any and here again when you are not knowing the type of value or you will be getting a value at runtime from a user input or from an API or a third party or database. We can use any and here I will say here. So this is any I will say let any value is of type any and I make it equal to 10 for now and now or even just I declare it like this I can make any value or the variable equal to a numerical value or I can make it equal to a string value or I can make it equal to or assign a boolean value here so all this is fine and it will work now here you will see a difference from unknown if i say any well and say dot you can see here or i say any well and give a add use it as a function it is fine if i say any well dot to uppercase and you can see it is still working and not giving me any error now this can be an issue sometimes because Suppose I have used this statement that is a operation on a string value and I do not get a string value in the input I get a numerical value or a boolean value in that case this will fail and in such cases unknown is a better option to choose because unknown will not allow all these operations as we have seen so this is how we can use any and we have already seen this let us go to void. So void is absence of any type and it is commonly used as a return type for functions. So suppose I say here, I create a function, I will say function, let us say my function and I say the return type is void and then in the function I can just add any statement. So here I'm just explicitly informing that this function does not have any return type so I can use a void here. So this is normally used in functions when there is no return from the function. Now there is also union types or union of types where we can add multiple types for the same variable. For example, I can say here, I will say union types, I will say here let people allowed and it can be a number that I can give the number of people allowed and then with the pipe symbol I can also add the other data types or the other types I can say boolean so it can be true or false as well so here I can say people allowed can be some number like 10 or it can also be a boolean like true or false now here if I try to do intelligence if I say people allowed and say dot you can see because it is it has inferred that it will be of type boolean 
by the value it is only showing me the options for a boolean type so intellisense and code completion works here and whenever you have to add multiple types to a single variable where you may get a value from any of these types you can always use union types like this so you can say this we have already seen and this is best used when the type of value is not under your control and you do not know it but you know that it can be of one of these types so you can always use this and it has intelligent support as well i hope this all was very useful for you please do some hands on and if you have any issues do let me know share your knowledge with everyone and i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning